Hey, what's up guys? Chip Walters here. And today we're going to go over the rotate command in Blender. And so, I uh, start off as you recall from our last video where we talked about move. We have this gizmo down here. And if you go down to this little area down here and click here, now you have a rotate gizmo. And basically all you need to do is, is grab either the blue, and if you hit the escape button you'll go back, green, or red, right, so to rotate about the X, Y, or Z axis. Um, the other way of doing it, and I'm going to turn off the gizmo, is to use, if we go under Object, and we go to Transform, and we go to Rotate, so we see that's an R command, right? So, type in R, and now I can move it around, and I just type in X to rotate about the X, Y to rotate about the Y, and Z to ro rotate about the Z, Escape to get us back out. If you recall from our last video, we had that middle mouse button that we could also use to constrain our manipulator here. So let's see how that works. I'll type the R key again, and I'll hold the middle mouse button down. And as you can see, right now, I'm constrained about the X axis over here. I'm constrained about the Y up here. I'm I'm constrained about the y-axis and what I'll do is I just lift up once I get it constrained where I want it I'll lift up and then it's locked in place right let's now talk about how we rotate in increments so if we are in here and we hit R and Y to rotate around the y-axis you'll notice in the, in the left corner the bottom left corner it tells us how much we're rotating and if we just type in the numbers 90 and hit return we basically just rotated it at 90 degrees. If I look up here in the transform dialog for this object, you'll see that it's rotated in 90 degrees. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to show you another way. And what another way is we turn on this little magnet right here, down here, and we're going to hit rotate and Y. And now if you look in the bottom left, you see that it's it's tracking every five degrees. So if I want to go 90 degrees now, I just drag it all the way down, wait till it hits to 90, and click, and there you have it. Uh, another way to do it is if you're not in the magnet mode is let's turn that off is to hit rotate Y and then hold the control key down and as we hold the control key down you'll see that the same thing it basically does the same thing as in the move it actually toggles that that snap feature on of course another way to do it is just by clicking and dragging here on the requester up here the transform I can type any number I want into here and it'll obviously rotate I can do that same thing with the location and the scale as well so this transform dialog can be very handy one of the nice things about blender that you really don't have in SketchUp we're going to talk a little more about this in, a, in an upcoming tutorial one of the really nice things about SketchUp is that you can use the Rotate tool very easily to rotate about a given point. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's say we want to rotate this about this point right here. I can get here, get it lined up where I want it, and then just pull out. And by pulling out, I've set that kind of axis, and then I can say I go here and rotate around on that particular given point. Well, it's not quite so simple in Blender. So back in Blender, uh, we can see that we don't have a vertice that we can rotate about. The only way to do that is go out of object mode. In fact, I'll, I'll, I'm going to go into a wireframe mode and I still, there's no way that I can select a vertice here in object mode. So I really have to go into what's called edit mode and you do that by simply pressing the tab key. And again, remember that A key can will toggle back and forth of selection and the control tab T tells us we want to select vertexes edges or faces. Uh, let's just take an edge for instance and let's say that this edge right here is the edge that you know that's the edge that we want to rotate about. So the way this works is that there is something in Blender called a 3D cursor and if you right click you're going to set that 3D cursor on whatever surface that it encounters. So as I click it you'll see that it's set on the surface but it will not snap automatically to, to this edge. What I have to do is go into this mesh and say snap and say cursor to selected and now it's there. there. So once that's done we can actually tab back out. We still have that cursor selected and then we want to do is go down in here and we're going to say pivot center right this is the pivot center. I'm sorry 
and we want it to be the 3D cursor. So then the minute we do that, we can easily type in R and Y, and now we're rotating about that spot. So those are the steps that you're going to have to go through in order to get this to work. I think there might be some plugins that might help with that, but in the default Blender, this is the basic way that you do it. Now let me say a couple things about this. One is that there's a few shortcuts that you should be aware of. One is that the period key, not on the numpad, but in, on the keyboard, sets the pivot point for the object to the 3D cursor. The comma key sets it back to the median, which is right over here. So now when I go ahead and hit rotate and Y, it rotates around the median, right? So keep that in mind. So that's one shortcut. You can go, you can just toggle back and forth between the comma and the period key to be able to do that. The other thing is that shift S says is, is a snap setting pops up a menu with it down and you can say cursor to active cursor to grid cursor to center cursor to selected and then these other there's some other things that we'll talk about later but so so those are your friends shift s the comma and the period